I think setting aside um, the fundamental problems of what college costs in this country and how it absolutely needs to be changed um, and how colleges are going to force, uh, be forced to change, I think right now uh, in, this, in this COVID world, this new COVID world that we have, um, they're going to be forced to lower their tuitions. They're going to be forced um, to change the way college is financed and, and how they get students. Putting all that aside, I think you need to be really, really smart about getting a college, paying for a college education. Because um, we've got this, this generational, multi-generational lie that if you go to college, you'll get a better job. It's not necessarily the case. And Paul, we've talked about this. People we know who haven't gotten, who didn't go to college, um, who got themselves uh, some other type of you know, trade education or whatever that is, um, and have gone out and, and created very satisfying and very lucrative lives. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll say, I've said it once, I'll say it again, college is not for everybody, nor should it be. Um, and I think that's the lie that people have been sold about college and, and why it's so necessary to take on debt in order to get a college education. I think you really got to evaluate what I'm getting versus what I'm paying and make sure that um, you have a plan to pay it off. Uh, if you're going to take on debt, make sure you have a plan to pay it off within five years of graduating. And I think if you can't pay it off within five years of graduating based on the salary that you're projecting for yourself, then I think you need to reevaluate what you're doing.